Hey guys, so I just finished watching the very first episode of Dulce Amore, which stars Liza Sobriano and Enrique Gil. And honestly, this very first pilot episode was sickening. Like, for y'all TFC channel fans and for y'all Filipino Americans and Filipinos out there, like, I hope y'all liked it because I was living for this very first episode. So basically, um, Dulce Amore is about um, two orphan kids who find families and they somewhat meet each other later down the road. Well, this first episode was interesting because it was their backstories. Um, Liza Sobriano's character is Serena, who um, was put in a foster system or was abandoned. Not really abandoned, but like um, what happened was her family was part of a refugee camp and her mama and daddy and her sister were split up because her dad, I guess, was a man and kind of like Titanic, women and children only. So her mama and her sister and herself were put in a refugee car and I guess while they were going to a safety area it got blown up and unfortunately her mama and sister perished in the explosion but um she was raised by this Italian couple who have no kids but they are loaded with money honey and um she got she grew up with the rich and fabulous life but the only issue was her character was not allowed to speak Tagalog which I find shady because the mama herself is Filipino and um her grandmama was a hater because she wasn't blood related and she wasn't full Italian. Like she was just raised with Italian parents. And what I found interesting with the show in general was that there was a lot of Italian spoken during the episode. Like I know it's set with, you know, Italian settings, but it's like, oh wow, they're intertwining Tagalog, English and Italian in the subtitles. So it would switch back and forth with English, Italian and Tagalog during each character's saying, you know? So I would thought I kind of thought that was interesting because I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> I didn't think, you know, TFC would change the language barrier and add something else other than English and Tagalog. But hey, they did it. So that's awesome. And um, Enrique Gill's character, Simon, who was also an orphan, was in a orphanage and he's like the oldest one. So he took care of all the younger kids. Like he would make sure they'd all get up, wash their face, eat breakfast. Like his character was very like the older guy looking care you know taking care of the younger ones and just making sure that everybody ate and um this first episode was interesting because he overheard that a couple was looking for a baby but an older baby because older kids tend to be like you know more obedient more disciplined and he was the oldest of all these kids so he was told by one of the nannies that he had a shot of being adopted and um, he also grew close with one of the nanny's family because I guess one of their children passed away who was around his age. So he bonded with that particular character on the show. And um, I just, I honestly was living for this first episode just cause you know, the only other teleseria that I saw was Ning Ning. And unfortunately that ended about a month ago. So I was kind of butthurt about it, but it's like, you know what, move on. There's other, you know, teleseries out there and this show this show did replace um Panako Saya which I did not watch but I am a fan of Daniel and Catherine so you know you know yay for them for you know doing what they had to do with their shows but um I'm honestly really excited to see what is going to happen with this teleseria because like I said it's you know two kids who grew up without real parents or birth parents and eventually me and possibly fall in love and at the end of the first episode um, Serena's mama ended up surviving the bomb because she was holding a picture of her as a baby saying, oh, happy birthday, my dear. So I was like, oh, her mama's still out there. And I just felt like maybe down the road, there might be a storyline with her re-meeting her mama, you know? And, um, honestly, I was a little disappointed with her foster mama's character because it's like, okay, you being a hater about you know, having your daughter not speak Tagalog, but you make it sound like you don't have it in your blood. It's kind of like someone who is multicultural, but they only focus on that one culture, but ignore the other cultures. It's like, girl, really? Like, embrace your ethnicity, background, language spoken, like, all that together. Don't be a hater and just ignore something. Like, I just felt like that's how, you know, Liza Sobriano's mom on the show, her foster mom, her evil stepmother or whatever, came off. And it's like, no. And I just love the um, the other characters, such as her nanny and her cooks and stuff, because it was very personality-wise. And I love shows with personality. Like, I just live for, 
you know, her, um, her caretaker, because I thought it was just hilarious. And what I found interesting was the stuff that her dad taught her when she found out that she was not blood. Her dad was went into her room and was like, don't be crying because that makes you ugly. And that was the exact same words that her dad in the beginning of the episode said to her older sister when they had to be split up. So I find that like, oh, wow, they're like intertwining everything. Even when um, her older sister and her mama were in that carriage ride, she said to the older daughter, don't cry, you know, let's sing a song. And even the caretaker was telling Serena, let's sing a song when you sad. So I thought that was really interesting. But um, yeah, like this first pilot episode was just really sickening to me. And I can't wait for the rest because I don't really watch too much Tagalog shows because I'm focusing with school and I don't really speak Tagalog. Well, I don't even know too much of it. I know a few sentences here and there and words, but I'm Ilocano, y'all. So y'all Filipinos who are Ilocano American, hallelujah, shout out. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm just very excited to see where the series goes and I can't wait. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and leave me comments how y'all feel about this very first pilot episode. And for all y'all TFC fans, you know, hope y'all watch my reviews because I will hopefully be putting reviews up on episodes that are really interesting. I did one for the pilot because it's just like, okay, well, it's the first episode. So check me out, y'all. And um, for y'all who don't watch Filipino shows, you know, check out the TFC channel and it's on Comcast, um, AT&T, DirecTV. So check it out. If y'all like, you know, Asian <laughs> dramas, y'all will probably like Filipino dramas. So Anyways, y'all, that's just my little review rant for the night. So I'll see you guys later. So bye, be safe.